Several years ago, when they were planning a parent night, there was a roadblock stopping parents who did not have documentation. They picked up people, checked documentation. Parents who were unfortunately taken into custody, and that really scared some parents off to Osborne High School. It's always been a school with a reputation of not being successful, a school with a lot of trouble. If they know there's roadblocks, they don't send their children to school. And over the past five years, we have worked real hard to build trust. We've, we've seen that change over the years, and I think it's some of it is just because of the young ladies that we have that are working with them. How are you guys doing with grades? My main priority is meeting with the students daily and making sure their needs are being met. And I love meeting with them just because I get to see a fresh face. If Miss Santiago wouldn't have been there for me, I probably wouldn't be coming to school, wouldn't focus on school, my grades, I probably wouldn't even care. The people surrounding me by the CIS give me that motivation to come to school. They're always there for me and the other students at this school. I think by having uh, bilingual site coordinators, it's helped because of them knowing the culture and again being able to talk to the parents in, in their native language. Que el programa de community school es muy buen programa. Entonces, los papás tenemos que involucrarnos más en las cosas de los muchachos. We stay open after hours to let students do homework, use computers. They don't want to go home because they have this environment around them and they feel like this is a safe zone and I get it. One of the big, um, just primary basic needs uh, has been the food pantry. So what we are doing is we are meeting people at their point of need in their community. We actually have communities and school staff who will man the distributions for us. They help to identify the children and families that are in crisis. Once they see us helping them, they have a smile on their face and we like seeing that. So it's worked out beautifully. It's a great partnership. It's not really about teaching them English, math, science, and social studies. It's about really genuinely engaging a family and a student into that school community. You know, when the partnership first started, the graduation rate was significantly low. Um, it was in the 30s. After a couple of years of partnership with CIS, it's, it's in the 60s now. We have changed that mindset from, I hope I can graduate from high school, to I will graduate from college. They're helping me right now on doing my resume, applying to colleges. They really opened my mind. I can help students open their eyes because they're very unaware of what's out there and how much assistance is actually out there. Okay, you have a college fair here, you have application you need to fill out here. If I need to know about a specific scholarship, I'll get a text message for that scholarship. Community in schools has been available for her and stepped outside the box and what can I do to, to help you? Being the first of my family to go to college, it just, it makes me very proud and it pushes me more um, to achieve everything that I want. Kids want to be here, and they want to come, and they are now seeing that there's potential. They have potential. There's this old saying in, in, in among educators, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And really, with CIS and with Osborne, they have shown our kids and our staff and our families that we care. They have as much potential as a, a student coming from a very affluent home. So let's give them a chance. Not a lot of people get second chances in here, and I'm really grateful that I have a second chance in this going game education. It honestly, when I go home and, and lay down at night, I just smile and think, oh my goodness, I really, you know, I, I did something today, and it makes my life so much worth it. <laughs>